Hey everybody, Chris Farad here. Welcome back to Demon's Souls. We, uh, we're gonna go fight the Flame Lurker. So, I've been reading a lot of the comments and they're talking about this other blacksmith, and I mentioned this in the last episode. But it turns out, in order to get him to do, uh, anything with, like, a special... boss soul or whatever, I need to take him the Flame Lurker's soul. Which is like... I don't know how you would know this. But... It seems pretty nutty. Um... So what I'm going to do is I am going to use up my last little bit of um, souls here because if I die, I don't want these to be a waste. I'm going to go endurance a bit, and then do I want to go vitality or, or endurance again? So the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Uh, this gives me more fire defense if I go endurance. Let's do that. Art thou done? Uh, I am. Main thine. So I think he's in this one. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna try and remember <laughs> that shortcut that we found, uh, that one time. And if I can get to him, awesome. I just really hope that we can get to him. Uh, but now we, we don't have really anything to lose at this point, so... We have a lot more health than we did originally, have a lot more endurance, and if I can just kind of stay away from him and not take too much damage, then uh, everyone will be happy. I can't believe how strong these guys still are, though. I'm just gonna blast right through them because there's a whole bunch of them. And then... Oh, yeah. Okay, so we haven't come through here for a while. I'm hoping... that I can figure out the way down here again. Oh yeah, these guys will kind of follow me, won't they? Oh, I think I just heard one. Oh, yep, that guy right there. Didn't work out very well for him, unfortunately. Um... Right, okay, here we go. Actually, I should have bought a whole bunch more... I should have bought a bunch of crescent moon grasses or something. I have the new moon grass, but oh, that's like... The thing is, is... It's one of those things where you don't want to use it, but then you get into a situation where it's like, you never use it, so... How is that helping you? It's really not. I think there's a ledge there. It looks like it. Oh, just. Here's another one. I think we're on the right track. Oh, no. Damn it. Ah. Yeah, I probably should have went the other way. That part, I guess, until you do it, like, a bunch of times, it's kind of hard to remember where the things are in it. On that one, you could see the little platform at the bottom. At least, I could. But I should have realized that I couldn't get far enough over. I'm not going to, like, magically drift to it. And of course, now my health is drastically lower. Do I have the cling ring on? I should make sure. I'm pretty sure that I do. Yes. Okay, good. It's too bad, because it would have been nice to fight him once at... Um, full HP.
I don't think so. Okay, I guess I will fight. That's a big waste. Damn it. That's why I come down here with no souls. That is exactly why. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'll hit up the Nexus again. So that I can buy some more. Oh, I can't even buy Crescent Moongrass. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Uh okay. No, I can. I can eat some souls, and then I can buy them. So. Is it just me or is the Flame Lurker boss, like, the most annoying? Because not only is he difficult to get to, then you have to kill him. <laughs> and it doesn't seem like it's... There's an easy way to do it. Unknowns are worth, like, what? Yeah, 200. Hi. So I can buy crescents for 150, no interest, eh? or patches will sell me for a little bit more. I can get the bigger ones. But half for 300. So it all pretty much scales in the same way, I guess. I think half is probably good. Let's get a couple of those. Let's get one of those. And one of these. Not Alright, we're going back in. Now, some people might be saying, well, why don't you just cut this part out? And for me, it's like... The, the Souls games experiences are all about the struggle. <laughs> so, I try to I try to not cut out things. I In Dark Souls 1, I cut out one time, one thing. And everybody kind of said that they wanted to watch it. So, uh, that's why I'm not cutting anything out anymore. And I think it, it kind of makes sense because this game is all about... What's the word? It's like, it's, I don't know, it's about the struggle. It's about working your way through things. And it might not always work out the way that you intend originally. May as well grab my nothing here. Okay, that's good. I need to see... I need to see the bottom. I, I guess it's pretty much, like, alternating on the way down. You kind of go to the left, and then you go to the right, and you go to the left. But then there's these areas that switch it up. Uh... Okay. Oh, hello. Now, is this... No, I think we're on this side. I think I could probably, maybe I could roll that way, but... Okay, there's a ladder. We're getting somewhere. Now this is where I fell off before. It's gotta be on this side. There we go. Okay, so now I, I feel like that last little 
path there. I can probably figure out when I need to again. But I'm really hoping that we can take this guy. I'm going to have to get not the crescent moon stuff going on. At least half moons. Oh, shit. It scared the hell out of me. All right, let's do this, Flame Lurker. Let's do this. I don't even remember his move set explicitly anymore. Oh, yeah, okay. I remember that. So I kind of have to like run in there and hit him pretty quickly. I may even want to switch to the uh, Crescent Falcon to get faster hits off. I can block, like, pretty well, though, against him right now. He says as he gets crushed. Get that slight little regen happening. I don't know if it's... I should probably put on my fire resistance more than anything. now, though. Nice thing about the halberd, though, is I get to keep some distance. Ah! Hold on.
just got out of that one. Okay. Oh, nice! bad. Oh! I don't know how I got out of that. around this point, he starts getting so much more aggressive, and maybe it's just me, but I don't think so. I honestly feel like he does. Like, look at him all hopping around there. It's impossible to find. <laughs> It's like he does the exact same thing every time, but it's still like... Doesn't make it any easier. I'm just trying to bait out one of his little... Fire smashes. Right there. Wow. 
Wow. This is insane! Just so quick, I like I have trouble getting far enough away from him right now. Son of a bitch! Praise the mother effing son for Rick! Oh God damn it! <laughs> what a pain in the ass! What a pain in the ass! Wow! <laughs> yes! Yes! That really happened. Let's get the hell out of here. Wow! Okay. There were a couple close calls, though. Oh my god, I was, I'm gonna have a heart attack from this shit. Okay. <laughs> so, good news. Here's the good news. Uh, we killed that thing. We need to take his soul to a blacksmith, apparently. And the blacksmith is in... Stone Fang area, I think. So... We'll check that out. Oh, that just feels- that's like a big weight off my shoulders. It really is. Um, let's take some of these. Actually, I don't know what I'm gonna need. That's the thing. Dragon stone. Let's see what these do. Axes, hammers. Power of fire. Okay. Fire. Poison. Bows. Bows, bows. Uh, MP. Oh, that's good for, uh... Shields. Okay, Cloudstone's for shields. Meltstone. Hardstone. Evenly increases the power on a weapon. See, this would be probably good. Straight swords, axes, hammers. I don't know if that includes halberd, but... That would kind of make sense if it increases the power of a weapon. Hard stones. Sharp stones, obviously, for sharp. Look at how many different things we have. It's insane. Um, oh, we just... We've gone through them. Okay. So I think hard stone is probably best for... Shard of melt stone. Melt all other ores. Do I need to carry this to him as well? Let's grab that one. And let's grab the hard stones. I'm hoping I can carry all this. We are indebted to you. So Stone Fang, I don't think it's the first one. No, it's this one. Okay. And apparently there's like a dirty old woman or like a dirty old something or other, and an elevator, so 
I'm going to have to find him, and then there's something to do with the, the blacksmith. I'm going to have to reduce my weapon to zero, get it to three, and, like, I don't know. It seems pretty, like, pretty insane. There's this person here. <laughs> Filthy man. Thank you, Lord. So he sells... Oh, he does sell hard stones. Interesting. Okay, well, that could be good. Oh! I bet you it's right here, because I've never been in here. Fall. Hmm. Debatable. Let's just ride this thing. Beware of fall ahead. I don't even know where this is taking me. I think that the comment I read said I had to go down, so I'm gonna take this thing down. Instead, there is that thing there, which maybe I'll come back for at some point. This looks like, yes. Here we go. Mm. Oh, he's like a very little man. Starts. What does it matter? You need a blacksmith, show me some coin. If not, head straight for the door. Okay, cool. I'm glad we found him this easy. Blacksmith head. I'm busy. I'm not here to chit chat. Forging a weapon strengthens it. Alters its character. Wars are transmogrified sprites. Their presence blesses the weapon. Demon soul? The demons are powerful spirits. Some can even bless weapons. Good. He but seems like so he's on the right track. The powerful flame. But the soul of a demon is an inferno of wrath. We have the flame soul. I think that's what he's talking about. I told you that I am busy. <laughs> Each one has a grade. He's getting pissed. Mighty weapons can only be blessed by ores of high grade. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. A spirit force that delights the eyes. The highest grade of all is a pure ore. The highest grade. Okay, so now. How do I. Let's see. No, see, hard stone is just regular strength. I'm not sure if that's what I want exactly. But how do I. I have to give this guy the soul somehow, I think. Well done. Let's see here. Red Hot Demon Soul. Don't I need to give him this? Or is it this thing? They're both hot. He's, he's talked about we need something like intense heat or whatever. So, yes. yeah, okay. Oh, they're That's good. The one. A red, hot demon soul. Now you can bless your weapon with another demon soul. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Wise choice. You've done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith head. Bring me a demon soul. And I shall use it to bless your weapon. Okay, we are on to something here. Now, my halberd... How do I... I might have to grab the other demon souls. I'm not... Sh I think I'm probably gonna have to grab the other demon souls. Because I don't know... Which ones are gonna be best. I imagine maybe the... The iron... I can't remember what was it. Iron Golem? I think... Iron Golem... He was the big, tall, slow one. He could maybe be good. I'm not sure. What I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna grab a bunch of my souls, and then we're gonna head back there and see if we can 
figure things out here. Um, if you guys have ideas, let me know. I'll reread some of the other comments because I think some people left some more detail on specifically how you're supposed to upgrade some of these weapons. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure, so I'm going to reread those and then when we come back, we will try and upgrade this thing in the best way possible. Alright guys, thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye.